Hey patrons, uh, it's me again and somewhere having some kind of a workation. <laughs> so today I'm going to work a little bit. This is part of my costume and I was actually taking pictures of the work in progress but it's on my iPad and the iPad is at home. So I will try to show you that later though but when I get back to home so you will see how uh, I start. This is just a, a thrift store but uh, very high hill. This is the true uh, wedge uh, high hill, and it was all pink. It's still pink, so I did hose because I'm going to be wearing this hose for, for my costume, all right? And the hose. This is, I'm I'm already trying to work on it this one already. So how did I make this? Uh, epoxy. This is epoxy clay. The whole. I sculpted over the tip of the shoe. And then we just got a good old Krylon spray paint, paint to do the uh, base uh, coat of everything. The back is going to stay, uh, but it's going to be all black to be kind of camouflage because the, the hoof itself is going to be whitish, creamish, foam color, all right? So after the first uh, coat, uh, I always work with black, you need to really know, know me by that. The next one, I'm just using Americana. Uh, this one is light buttermilk. So with that, I'm starting to do some, some painting. And I'm going to go, to go in layers. And I'm also going to do a little bit of uh, dry brushing. So it will give like a natural look to the half. I painted the base black too, just to have it black. I probably won't be adding any, any kind of a color in there anyway. Just to have it black. But everything else, I'm just giving it the first coat of this light color. So I have the light color, butter, 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 what? Oopsie, I lost it. Oh, light buttermilk. Then I have a dark brown, and just in case, I also got uh, some black. And this is a flat brush. I'm going vertical, I'm pretty sure it's a cold. Because that's kind of a, the idea I want to, to give vertical strokes. See. Not fully trying to cover it, that's just to make it look like a little bit more natural. And because the holes, you know, the, the texture of the holes it has kind of like a, a lines, I will say, vertical lines through the hoof. And this part, oh, I should not have touched that. Well, I'll, I'll repaint it black. <laughs> this part is all black. Okay, going on. <laughs> Let me move my workstation. I'm trying not to get the table dirty. paper here also to do the dry brushing later on. Now I'm going to be a little bit careful here. I forgot on the other side that I should not paint it. That side. Light. It is uh, heavy because I, uh, like, like I said, I use epoxy clay, but when I was trying it on, it's actually fine. It kind of st st stabilized my my uh, foot on, on the ground. Probably should have done it with a lighter material like the air, uh, free foam air from uh, Reynolds. Uh, smooth on, what I'm saying. Great. Uh, well, I, I buy from the products from Reynolds, though. I don't buy it from Smooth on, really. 
and it's the same. And I know you're having fun in this. I'm making on my ears, I'm making on my nose. So this is pretty much coming to an end. Uh, right here in this location, we are, we are in, in New Mexico, Cloudcraft. There is a beautiful uh, forest and trees, uh, waterfalls. So I'm going to get to finish Aurora finally. And we're gonna, this is gonna be, this is gonna be very exciting. We're gonna be having a full photo session on the forest. It's going to be very magical. I want to totally see this strokes, you know. Wow, I, I think I measured that already. And the upper part here, it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna put fur in there. It's going to be so cool. Um, I guess I'm gonna put there. And here I have the, what is this? This is called espresso bean. So it's some kind of like a very dark uh, brown. And I'm going to use that in a dry brush, actually, so. So, can I have more um, baby towel, please? Yeah, now I have somebody helping me. <laughs> and it's awesome. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna fold this, I need something better. Just like that, or at least like this to have a little bit of a pen in there. Thank you very much. All right, round go. This is going to be the dry brushing. I wasn't trying to make like a bold painting with the with the butter anyway, but still. It's actually kind of aging it. Good. The same I'm gonna try to do. Regular, vertical. Yeah, it's totally aging it. So I can probably do a mix of all of that. By creating kind of the fantasy of the, like I said, the texture is kind of like lines on there. And I could totally add the, the white on top of that also, if it's needed. Maybe. Plus, it's not just white, but you know, you had to think that the creature or whoever I'm trying to I'm trying to play, uh, you know, it's walking with this, so it's going to be kind of dirty, especially at the at the, the base. So I'm trying to think about all that. Uh, don't pay attention to this, to this part. <laughs> there is some uh, fur is going to be going there. Totally kind of aging it. My first coat. And this is something literally anybody can do that. This is pretty crafty, I will say. You 
can probably also be airbrush, you know. I'm going to concentrate on the, on the edges. On the base, we're going to say. Try to play with the white also a little bit more. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like the textures are embedding together. It looks like te textures uh, mixing together. Yeah, look at this. It's like a just lines of marbling. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but it, it is it is looking nice. So probably playing with transparencies. It would be a nice idea to you too. Jesus, that's good. That's really good. Whoa. Now after this, which I like it, it's going to play to play so good with the fur. The fur is actually kind of like this color. It's just then it's perfect. I'm just gonna add the black on the base, so it will show like a wearing and tearing and getting dirty on the dirt kind of like look the look fully wash my my brush because I'm going to be using the, the black okay I like it it's some of those moments when you just play around with shit with the stuff <laughs> and it ended up looking cool that's one of my. Well, that's one of the. It's one of those moments <laughs> when you're just trying to experiment. And and I always said that the easiest technique of the dry brushing can do amazing things. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here, and I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and wash my brush and come back in a little bit, okay? Okay, black paint, clean brush, and here we go. This one I'm kinda afraid to go for it first because I don't wanna like really, oh yeah, see? It's too strong. It's like shadowing. And... Stains. On that top. I mean bottom. On the bottom, bottom, bottom. Now, let, me, let me look at my side. <laughs> I did that to show you, but I, I now I have to look at it. It's 
So I'm concentrating in this H, pretty much, and trying to smear the staying up. Could go a little bit, tiny bit up too. But mostly it should look like that, like a little bit random, just like dirt. She's this is her shoes and she's working on the on the forest, blah blah blah. Hmm. Barely this ends. Could get more of the dirt or I'm gonna put tiny bits of uh, brown. Still I hit my palette. more aggressive For sure. There you go. Maybe that. And now I thought I'm gonna do it in my, my visual point here. But it's it's kind of okay actually you make some boo or something because actually it has to be kind of random. Carving more textures on the clay, it will have been a great idea too. But the type of epoxy that I use is um, it was hard as a rock, so I could not really do much of a carving or texturing or. I was hardly able to build it, this shape. It was just some old epoxy that I had laying around and I didn't want to waste it. There you go. Ta da! Now there's that. Now let me show you. Let me show you the fur. Thank you. See? the little piece of the fur. I have to find the, the side that is down, the texture, which is probably... Oh, I, I could actually grab some paper, and I should, and I will. Grab some paper and make a... Let's stay with one. I made a pattern, but I'm, I'm just gonna give you a, a peek there. So this is gonna go like this. Yeah. It's gonna go pretty much like that. And the part of the black is going to play actually as a camouflage. So the black is going to hopefully it will match with everything else. Mostly because it's dark and this is very light. So this is going to play just like that. Okay, I can't see it from here. Oh my god, it looks good. I'm like, I can't see it from here, but it looks good. Alright, I'm trying to. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab a piece of paper and and draw like a, like an easy easy type of a pattern because I don't want to ruin the the or we could also use a dra uh, some rag of a, a little bit of a stiffened uh, fabric anything that, that I uh, I can choose uh, trash to draw some kind of a pattern going a little bit maybe up to the heel like a little little sock and yeah cut the fur glue the fur 
and you will get to see on that. Okay? Okay, I'm back. And I'm just grabbing a piece of uh, paper, A4, I believe this. And I'm going to try to get a pattern out of here. I'm going to think in this figure, and this is going to be one side and the other side. So, get a pencil here. Let me go to this. I'm kind of following the shape of the shoe now, the design of the shoe for sure. So we can get the, totally see it through here. So let me start doodling. Some angle is going to be required here. So okay, that pretty much is born when you try to follow the shape of the object. And then we have a we have an angle here, okay, here. Take a little bit there. Back here. And you see pretty much following that angle. Like that. And in the front, I have to cover all this junk here, so I'm going a little bit farther. Really? Up to here, actually. And this will be, will be the first half. Drawing patterns can be a little bit tricky. You could totally do this with, with fabric also. It will be a tiny bit more helpful because the paper is kind of, you can see it's totally hard. Now I can see where I need angles. Now I need some angles here. Well, in the end, the scissor ended up better. <laughs> Trying to figure this is still okay. Let me go over here. So, and now I'm thinking like a sock, something like a sock. I'm going to go like crazy there. So now it's going to come something. You see, it kind of has a shape of a sock. You will say that. All right. I'm just gonna give it more room. And I'm going to need something, a fold there. There's only one side and then the other side has to be made. I can totally put a sock here, literally, and try to make it match with that too. Thinking also that this fabric does not, does not give much of a stretch. And I had to use the right uh, side of the fabric. <sighs> okay. Now let's cut and let's see how it goes. I can still play with the with the cut up piece on the shoe. On my part, I say. Yep, it cuts like butter. <laughs> That should be going up. I'm not. I'm not planning. I'm not planning on going on my ankle for real. Although anything can happen later. I'm gonna have to make another one. 
Everything here seems fine. This distance here seems fine. I'm missing this over here. Let's check everything. Um, this part, like I said, I might need a little thing over here. I know the names of these things in Spanish, but I, I don't know how you said them in. It's not called a scene, it's called something else. Yeah, like that. Less than that. It's just a matter of playing with the shapes. This is okay then. And let's try it again. Yep, I'm still missing a little bit. Quite a little bit on there. And then Overall, it's literally like a sock. More than that, I think it'll good. Okay, let's try it again. Right. The third, third, the second time is the best. Uh, winning, winning, winning. about that much let's hope that will be no I'm gonna make it straight here because the, I don't really need to the angle for the, <laughs> the character to play here okay let's see let's see again yeah yeah I think I have to want it to be straight okay this should work. And if it not it doesn't, you just try it again. I have enough fabric actually to go up. Mm. I'll think about it. My idea was doing just a little the, uh, my feet. Mm, I wasn't planning on going up, but like I said, I had material, so that's a maybe. Right, second time. Oopsie, making a mess here. There, made to the middle. Right there, exactly. <laughs> and yeah, it's a good thing if it stays straight. I still wanna grab a. <laughs> no, I think it will fit me. You could grab a sock or something so you can have a, a reference. I just totally have to decide about the length. Okay, all this is gonna be fine there. I need to see the part. This totally had to be done in two pieces. I cannot just fold and oh, what about this? Nah, because I, I I had to go with the direction of the the pattern of the of the fabric. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh my god, this, this fabric is a very cozy. Where is my direction? You see, it's going this way. So, alright. Means. I'm getting lost here. So, we're going uh -huh, this way. Although, when they cut the fabric here, they kill the pattern. So, let me see. Oh, I think it's all like that. Yeah, so it means I need to give it a little bit more because uh, they they went straight with the scissor and uh, they killed the pattern. I need that, so 
Now where'd the Wally be higher? to sew this so this part I'm gonna be sewing this and this I'm going to give a I think here is called a seam for sure I'm sure of this because I don't want to screw my work, okay? This is a waste of material, yes, it's true. That's one thing you have to consider with the uh, fur. You are going to end up wasting material because you have to really follow the pattern, the direction of the pattern, of the fabric. What else? It's not gonna look good. Mm. Still try to decide. I could add the rest later though. It doesn't really have to be like that. Okay, one. And of course the other side is going to be a mirror. And here is where you feel like you're wasting material, but there is no other way. You just have to do this. It's the same uh, for the when you're making teddy bears. You have to follow the fancy ones. You have to follow the pattern. If I'm doing this one here, um, yeah, this one. It totally feels like a waste of material, but we don't have my choice. Sorry, next step. 